Hello everybody, this is Diane. Today is Saturday and I've already been to the flea market today and done a bunch of other things and finally I'm going to settle down to do my collage. I usually do this earlier in the day, but I had other things on the list for today. So here's my collage book that I made and I will be flipping to today's page, which is day 22 I believe. Day 22. And the props for today are a date. So I have this um, memo calendar from 1943, which I think is really neat. I love the letter, the numbers along the side. And I found the page for June 5th. Hey, it matches. Today's Saturday, and this is Saturday, June 5th. Cool. So I want to use this date, maybe take take the June off and that and include that in the collage. The rest is kind of uh, themey because in looking for the other other elements, uh, a group of three, and I was looking through all of my clippings from magazines that I use in my glue book, and I found this, a group of three mermaids that someone made out of felt with some slow stitching. Aren't they the cutest little things? So I thought I would use them. They're going to be on this side. And then I'm skipping the flag um, and I'm going to use the bonus. Uh, something found underwater. Mermaids are found underwater. But I've been um, accumulating things to make sea themed journals. A seahorse and seashells or seashore or something like that. So I had these things that I just cut um, pre in preparation for those journals. And these are with a new die that I bought uh, from Stampin' Up. So I can use one of those and I can just make some more. I have to punch out. I should have done this in preparation. Sorry. So we're going to have to punch or cut out some of those pieces that got left in there. So, obviously, we can see a theme here. It's water stuff. So then, a ribbon, and I also had this out ready for the C journal, so I'll use that for my ribbon. And then, um, something with a bumpy surface, and I just embossed this seabed embossing folder. So, these are the elements I'm going to use. So, it seems like I don't have a lot to choose from, so it seems like it should go quickly, but let's just see how, oops, I don't want May, I want June. Let's see how uh, quickly I can put it together in a pleasing manner. <clears throat> Sometimes the things I think that are going to be easy are not. I want to leave the 1943 on there too. I like here it shows what day of the year it is. It's day 156. Now, I don't know if there was a leap year in 1943, but in 1943, this was day 156. I like the pink page, but we're going to do it over here. This is going to be my planner page, or journal page, actually. It says this is what I did this week page. I'm going to tear this side. I had a good day at the, I like that it tore right along that piece of seaweed there. I had a good day at the flea market today, the, the barns, the one I go to once a month. Uh, I went with my friend Lisa and we had a good time and we, we both found some things. I found uh, a little bit more there than I have been finding this year. And the, you'll see the video on Monday. I've already done the video. I think I want to cut these apart though. I think I can make a more interesting um, arrangement if I cut them apart. I did some coffee dyeing 
today. I had some scrapbook paper picked out for the next journal project and so I just dyed that and put it out on my deck with plastic doily on it to give it a design. It's a little bit breezy, not much. I thought it would be fine, but it's enough of a breeze that it's blowing the paper, so I had to find some largish stones. Hopefully that's helping out there. This is the one that will show up the best, and it's the one that has the most things that need to be poked out. In fact, I think they need to be cut out. This, I think I'm not going to try because these didn't cut very well. This was before I put the shim in it, and when I put the shim in it, it punched like this. Maybe I'll have to use this blue one. This was paper that I colored with, what did I use? I don't remember, I guess I'll have to watch that video. I used um, markers or distress inks or something and then dipped my paper in it on my mat to get these colors and then I cut the dye the fish out of them. Just got a few more pieces to punch out here. I'll try running it through with um, a dryer sheet next time see if it'll get all the things punched out. But there's that. He shows up. He's light enough. He shows up nicely against that. figure out how I want to arrange the mermaids first. Maybe I'll put them down here. Oh. Cluster them instead of spread them out. Here comes a little fish saying, hello, there are three mermaids there. This is a wired ribbon, but I pulled the wire out. I might want to cut that a little shorter and cut a fishtail at the bottom. Can't really see much of that textiled paper now. But it is there. Let me try something. Making the ribbon a little shorter so we can get a peek at the textured paper in there. I like that there's a map on the background page. I don't feel like I have to cover that.
I think I will rub some color over that, this piece, to make the texture stand out. What color can I use? Maybe a little silver paint. I guess this isn't going to be a quick and short project today. Well, maybe I'll use gold paint. had silver, but I guess I, I bought gold and copper, but not silver. And I might have some silver something I could use, but I don't want to take too much time looking. Just put a little on my finger and lightly rub it over the surface. Doesn't go very far. Guess it's better to use a foam brush. This looks. Maybe that pink fish looks better even though all the things aren't punched out. Let's just start gluing stuff down. It's just hard to work when the page keeps wanting to pop up. So uh, yesterday I did, I worked in my glue book yesterday and I put that video up today, so you saw it Saturday. Um, and someone commented that they would like me to show how to do a collage letting some, or a glue book page, letting some of the background page show through, whether it's a plain white one or colored or printed. So I, yeah, I will do that, but I'm going to be this collage is going to do that. It's going to show the top and the bottom of the page. But I will do a, a video showing where I purposely leave part of the page, background page showing.
gotten quite warm today. It's 90 degrees. So we're having a hot weekend. So doing these this water themed page can help cool me off. <laughs> My husband used to like to watch uh, movies with snow <laughs> in it in the middle of winter or summer because he didn't like summer. He liked it. He liked doing the active things, but he d didn't handle the heat well. He had a sunstroke at one point, at least once, but he really suffered in the heat. So he would watch winter movies like the Iger Sanction in the middle of summer. Okay, I think now we can see more of the, um, I think I put that sideways too, the seaweed piece. We can see more of the texture there. There we go. I already have my stamp prepped. It's on the right date and it has the washi tape on there to hide the other part that I don't want to stamp. that tape. And here we have a date, a group of three, no flag, something found underwater, a ribbon, and something with a bumpy surface. And I will write in the highlights of the week on this page. I think I'm all caught up with that. I still have to do some gluing on these pages just for filler. Yep, I'm all caught up with the planner part. So there's today's page. Uh, yep, we've got time to do a little bit in the little blue book. Okay, earlier I was prepping to do this video and then I didn't get it done before I went to the flea market with my friend. And since then I brought all my flea market stuff in here and put it out on the table. So I displaced the quotes that I picked out. Oh, here they are. can't believe I found them. I chose some quotes that I might be able to use today so I wouldn't have to do that while you're watching. We have to do one more in the back before I move back up to the front. I have three collages done in this little book so far. So I have, she let her light shine. The day has brought, and I thought I would add joy here, or today I choose, um, what did I pick out here? Smiles. So I'll use one of those. But I have to pick out an image. That could 
be a background. She's got a little bit of a smile. Those are all background pieces. Well, let's see. None of these ladies look extremely joyful or smiley or shiny. <laughs> None of them really go. I'm going to look for another lady. Just got to find the right basket. They would be in here. She's got a nice smile. She's got a smile. Look at them. They both look kind of frowny. All right, let's just choose one of those. Let's just go with one of these. I like her. fussy cut more than I have to so I will trim off the excess before I cut her out and I can pick a background out for her Oh, it's the other side of this, right? Yes, this is what I used last week. So I can just use that over here. Now I'll trim her down a little bit. Just trim off the excess background from around her hair. She has nice hair. It's 
probably a hair commercial or advertisement. Today I choose smiles. Or it could be today I choose joy and then this one would be the day has brought smiles. But I like the fact that we can choose to smile so I'm going to use that. So these pages blend very nicely together and like I said before I don't always try to do that and I didn't today it just happened um, but choosing the same background paper on both pages helps but there's a little bit of purple there and there's purple in her shirt and of course the background color is being green and this green here it all just works nicely I think. Take my Stabilo All Pencil in black and outline her. And the edge of the page. And the words. And then soften that those lines with a water brush. There's water inside that barrel. You can find these brushes in the art supplies at craft stores like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Or different lines carry them like um, Jane Davenport I think carries these. But I think they're less expensive if you just go to the craft the arts, art supply section and find them there. That's where I got this. Oh no, this one is Jane Davenport. But I did get some from Art Supply and I got some from Hobby Lobby. That was the first time I'd ever seen them. I didn't know. I think that was even before I started making junk journals and I bought those. Stampin' Up! And I used them with water soluble colored pencils.
And now my Sig Signo Uniball white paint pen. I like it when the ladies that I choose have dark hair so that the I can use lots of uh, the white dots in their hair to highlight the different tresses and curls. Yep, I think that's going to be good enough today. Today I choose smiles. I think we've got time to do another page. So we could do... The day has brought joy. I'm letting those dots dry before I close the book. I have made that mistake before. Look at that. <laughs> she let her light shine. Everybody looks so somber. These are canvas pieces. She's cute. I don't want to cut her though. I want to put her in a bigger book. I'm not going to have time to do another one if I don't find a person quickly. Okay, I think I'll use her.
looks like Clark Gable on the back. Yep. Now this could be the day has brought joy or she let her light shine. I think I'm going to go with she let her light shine on this one. corners because the page that they're going on has rounded corners. Most of this background is covered up. But I want it anyway because the little corners are now covered up and so is the bottom. And that's part of the fun of doing this little book. There isn't much involved in each page, but I like to select the background page to go with the lady. This one, she let her light shine. Okay, now I want to glue this down before I lose it. So I'm going to choose a background. I'm going to use this lady for the day has brought joy. And probably after we're done with the video because this will take a little bit longer. It's 41 minutes now and I usually only do about 45, but my camera has been letting me do a little bit longer. so. I'll just, I'll go as long as it lets me. But 
uh, if I have to go back after the camera shuts off, I'll, I'll do all the, the black and the white pen work. And I will let you see the finished pages next week when we do our next weekend collage. I think I'd like to try to do two of these little pages every week. Otherwise, it'll just take forever to fill this book up. And I don't have to wait till Saturday to work in it, but that's when I usually have the time to do it. See the heart there? That's the joy. The day has brought joy to her heart. All right, now, now you can see the elements that I'm using. Are you working in your glue book? Do you have a glue book? Do you want a glue book? If you want to start gluing things but aren't sure if it's something, it was, took me a long time to actually decide 
to do it because I thought it would be a waste of time because what purpose does it have? Well, it does have purpose because it's very calming and relaxing and fun to do and it's also really fun to look at especially when your book is full or even when you have a few done sometimes I just grab one of these and flip through it and look at look at it and enjoy it so it has a purpose I didn't draw around that one so if you're not sure you want to try it just take an old magazine with a one that is held together well and start gluing stuff on those pages see if you think it's fun or a composition book they're not too expensive take some of the pages out probably at least half of the pages and glue you can glue two pages together to make them sturdier and then use that as your substrate for gluing and uh, if you like that then maybe you can make yourself a glue book there's if you look on YouTube there's lots of videos on making a glue book what you can use for a glue book and or you can buy one I make and sell larger size journals I make them the same way I make a junk journal but I don't decorate them I just and I have a variety of pages in there that you can use the glue stuff on but I usually make four or five sometimes six at a time and put them in my shop and they sell pretty fast so I never have them in the shop but I think I'll be making some soon because I've been thinking about them a lot and wanting to make some so I think I'll be making some fairly soon now with the white pen um, there's not a lot to do on her I'm gonna do her eyebrows just put some dots along her eyebrows and her lips the darker parts of her hair And on this page, I'll do around the heart. You don't have to do just dots, you could do cross hatching, scribbling, whatever you want to do. Okay. I did those two pages and that page today in my little book. And this page in my collage book 
I hope you liked this, and I hope you'll come back next Sunday um, to see the next weekend clash. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and a creative day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.